On September 24, 2017, Eight of the top placing teams from the Renegade Bass Series met on an undisclosed lake in the Kingston area to battle it out one last time for bragging rights. With no prior knowledge of the water they're fishing, teams had to make a quick decision on where to fish. Right off the start, the field split into those fishing the shallows and the rest running to deeper waters. The early bite in the shallows failed to produce any significant weight. Teams experienced few bites, and when fish finally made it to the boat, they hovered around the one to two pound mark. Out deep, things didn't start out much better. The aggressive bite seemed limited to small bass and northern pike. It seemed that the unseasonably hot temperatures could be setting up the field for a frustrating day of fishing. I win. As the morning progressed, things got better for some teams. The weeds and shoreline in the deeper waters began to deliver some three plus pounders, with the majority of those caught by Lenny and Jeff. Andy and Scott were the only team to weigh in a fish over three pounds caught in the shallows. The low weights offered up by the shallow bite would push Johnny and Aaron towards the deeper water where they would catch the biggest fish of the morning at 4.7 pounds. Even with the presence of some quality fish, the morning was tough for the entire field except for Lenny and Jeff. Jig fishing the milfoil brought in fish after fish and the morning would end up with them catching two four plus pound fish. As the afternoon time approached, teams began to return to the marina. The midday weigh-in would give the entire field a perspective they don't normally get. At the marina, scores were collected and the results presented. Matt and Jason would come in third with 12 pounds 2 ounces, Johnny and Aaron would take second with 14 pounds 8 ounces. While no one was surprised by Lenny and Jeff's first place standing, they weren't expecting the 19 plus pound weight that put them up top. Armed with the knowledge that the big fish are here, teams will now have to reassess their approaches to get on them. It's time to head out and finish the Tournament of Champions. Teams begin to head out for the second half of the tournament. Many teams struggle to figure out the pattern on this unknown body of water and are hoping the afternoon bite will play out better. Lenny and Jeff have shown that the big fish are out here. Any one of these teams could get on a good run to catch up and even pass them. Work that out for us. Yeah, a couple more for it, we should be good. Hearing the fact that uh, Lenny and Jeff had uh, over 19 uh, made us question, did we miss something? Yeah, or? so we were heading the right direction, he just got there first. You know, going blind is what's going to happen, right? We kind of knew that we had no chance doing what we were doing. We were catching sub two pounders, and so it totally changed our game plan, so we tried throwing a jig. We love to fish shallow. So when we go to a new lake, we always tend to start with that and see how the bite is. So obviously today uh, with the conditions, I think we're gonna have to stick and try and find some deeper mill foil and do something a little different this afternoon. We thought about going deep, but uh, it's just not my style. I'm not very good at it. And I uh, figure we're gonna primarily fish the shallow mat. This one coming out, we started re up real shallow. We got our five fish real quick. With our biggest fish being 210 at the time, we decided to move out deeper. We started flipping uh, milfoil. On our first flip, pulling out a 4.7. That, uh, that was a game changer, and well, that's what we're doing for the rest of the day. <laughs> we're getting fish, but not getting the size we want, so sun's still hot. We're gonna probably hit those shady spots in the afternoon and hit some uh, deeper ledges. Hopefully that's where the big ones are. So all we can do for now is just keep plugging away and find the big ones and hopefully win this thing. Most of the teams make a short run and quickly settle into their first spots. With most of the field fishing 12 to 15 feet of milfoil, the question becomes who's chosen the most productive patch of vegetation. It's hot and it's only getting hotter by the minute. Finding the quality fish is one thing, getting them to bite is another. Clancy and Joe are fishing the shallows near the launch. Charles and Jason were only able to catch one to two pounders from this area in the morning, and it looks like the same fish are biting in the afternoon. Today we're right what we're doing, flipping deep weeds with flipping jigs. There we go. 
That's a good start. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> four, four and a quarter. Four. Really? I wonder if that scale matches in with that. <laughs> We started this morning shallow. We picked up a couple fish here and there. No real pattern to them. Uh, unfortunately, no size to them either. Once we went in and saw that Lenny has an almost 20 pound sack, we knew that uh, to be around the right quality of fish, we got to fish the deep weed and hopefully stumble upon some good bites and call every one of our fish by, by double. No. <laughs> He's not. No. He's one and a half. Unfortunately, these teams are on fish that won't help them. Nine ounces. <laughs> Johnny and Aaron are on better quality fish. Not as good as Lenny and Jeff, but enough to cull one from the morning. Two five minutes. The main challenge for teams fishing the Tournament of Champions is trying to figure out this unknown body of water. But there's another factor that's playing a significant role today. Hot. It was very hot. <laughs> the heat was incredible. Today. Hot, hottest, hottest day of the summer. Yeah. yeah, it's been a hot day, so, I mean, they're hard to find too. And as, when the sun gets higher, as everybody knows, they're a lot harder to find and uh, get them to commit. 82 degrees is unseasonably hot for a late September day, heating the water temperatures to a high of 74. Thankfully, the fish haven't completely shut down. In a repeat of the morning, teams in the shallows and in the deeper water are still getting bombarded by aggressive small bass. Even for Lenny and Jeff, it's bite after bite of bass that just won't make a dent on their scorecard. Small bass aren't the only other fish that are being hooked up. Pike continue to plague the teams with their destructive bites as well. Creatures. You had a lot of those today? Too many. While many of the season pros have struggled in the tournament so far, two teams from the 150 unders have done well in comparison. These guys are uh, they're sitting in second and third after our four hour break throughout the day, which is amazing. Just goes to show you that uh, you know those smaller boats can still still pull it off and you know they're they're competing against you know some of the best uh, anglers in, in eastern Ontario. Yeah, it feels yeah. good, but anything can happen in the afternoon. <laughs> I definitely didn't think that, that our 12 pounds would be that high. Didn't think we were going to be in third, but you know, for a lake we've never been to and never fished on before, you know, can't complain at that, but we'll see if uh, we can pass it and we'll see if, we, if, it, if it lasts. And we don't know where the big fish are. We don't know if we should be fishing shallow or deep and it takes a little longer to figure it out. Biggest thing is when you're going to a new lake is the access to navionics or maps. Study them as quick as you can and try and figure out a pattern that you're used to and see if it works and if it doesn't just keep plugging, keep moving on until you find that pattern that is working.
When we came in on noon, we uh, we found out we were in second so far. We thought it was pretty good. Our uh, first fish of the day in the deeper water was a 4.7, so that definitely kicked us up there. That helped us out a lot. We changed our game plan completely going into the second half of the day. Yeah. We just stayed out deep the rest of the day, and we literally just worked one edge up and down. Two and three quarters. Holds at two five. Good call through, almost a pound. But... The one fifty guys really made it interesting. Of course, they held their own. They always do. You know, guys that win tournaments are good anglers. What, no matter what series they're in, no matter what the horsepower they have on their back of their motor. Lenny and Jeff have obviously impacted the way the teams are fishing this afternoon. This patch of milfoils produce five quality fish, and although the fish they're catching now aren't great, they're not willing to give up on it just yet. Matt and Blake found their own patch of milfoil. Right after the lunch break, we ran out, went to a bay, it looked good on the way in. The jake bite's always fun, you know, like bring it right from the shoe tops and you set the hook, right? And it feels great. Doug and Dave aren't trying anything new. They're fishing the same weed edge with rock that they've been fishing since the morning, but they're starting to see better results. I like it. No smalling. Two, three, and three quarters. Like Andy and Scott, Charles and Jason have left the comfort of the shallow bite. It's been a tough afternoon for them when something a little different makes it to the boat. Yee, my neck is cold. Three zero. We finally got to call one this afternoon. Okay, well, it's good. <laughs> Matt and Jason continue their slow climb up the weight ladder. We've never really changed our game plan because we were catching fish and we were steadily upgrading. But uh, we were shocked with the weights. No, I'll be honest with you, I thought the weights would be a little bit higher. Um, you know, because obviously this uh, lake has some really good male foil in it for largies and stuff like that. So we figured it'd be a little bit higher. We can try a few different baits, but. Didn't, didn't uh, work out as great as we had hoped. No. We could hold. Three two on the dot. The deep milfoil is paying off for many who've made the move, but how are things for Clancy and Joe, who decided to stick it out in the shallows? The fish is going to call, but it seems the shallows still aren't holding the same caliber of fish as out deep. Sticking to his comfort zone might be hurting Clancy and Joe's chances of moving up. Lenny and Jeff have a very strong lead on the rest of the field, but after catching that 4 pound 4 ounce bass at the start of the afternoon, they've had no other significant bites in this area. When they bring in another small fish, they decide it's time to move. Matt and Blake are sticking it out at the mouth of the bay and are able to continually call their morning fish, hoping that each successive bite will be the giant that they One, need. Four. Johnny and Aaron are still fishing the same edge, and with each pass, they find themselves hooking up. Two fourteen and a quarter. The smaller fish seem to be occupying the majority of this water, and while teams are looking to increase their weight by pounds, they'll have to settle for increments in ounces. With just over an hour remaining, many of the teams here would be happy with those ounces. For those teams, the bite is beginning to slow down. The heat hasn't shut down the fish completely, but teams are now having to move in order to try to locate them. We struggled to get bit on some of the things that we really like to do, and when we switched up to do some deeper milfoil, we only could catch a couple of small fish, so uh, kind of dictated what we did the rest of the day. Then we found some fish in mats later on in the day and upgraded. 
We love coming here. We love the lake. We love the, the whole system, but it's never been a big strong point of ours. We don't get up here that much, especially for pre-fish. Not to say we haven't fished it enough times to get better at it, but it was great. One eight. Alright, I'm out of ideas. I am too, bro. Just put the line on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Just keep doing this. You only got half an hour. Yeah, I know. We fish shallow, we fish deep. Disappointing, we couldn't find any bigger fish. Fished uh, some really, really nice stuff, some rock weed that we thought would uh, produce some bigger fish, but it just didn't happen. The heat hasn't shut down the fish completely, but teams are now having to move in order to locate them. Lenny and Jeff have been running from spot to spot in the hopes of upgrading, but they're not finding anything but small fish. They might be confident in their lead, but that doesn't mean they're not going to keep trying. I'm going to look at the graph and see if we can find something. Johnny and Aaron continue to find success as they grind it out. After a decent start to the afternoon, Matt and Jason have had a series of small fish come to the boat. They finally get one that looks big enough to weigh. Unfortunately, it won't help. After bringing in a nice three-pounder, Matt and Blake continue to bring fish that slowly but steadily call their morning bag. Clancy and Joe do the same, able to call but not getting anything worthy of winning the tournament. Kind of frustrating is that some of the stuff we ran this morning turned out to be the right pattern. We just didn't get any good bites on it. But this afternoon it did work. So I don't know if it changed or we just didn't hit enough for the right spots, that's all. But once we got doing it, we just every one we pulled up on we could see it on the map. We kept catching fish and culling. The day's coming to a close and teams prepare to head back to the marina. I'll be back. Sorry about that. It wasn't from lack of trying. We tried everything we could and just couldn't get the big bites. Dad, I'm sure the guys are going to come out with some weight. A little surprise today. The 150 guys, uh, Chong and all the boys. I'm not missing anybody. And the first time being out here was definitely fun. We caught like at least 40 fish today. Um, it was a good experience. I mean, it's always good to have one more tournament in the year, so. It was a good bunch of guys, kind of a, a new thing. It was kind of a neat idea, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. We love the concept uh, of this tournament, how it was held, uh, and the fact that nobody actually had been here before. Is, uh, it's pretty cool, you know? It took us almost all day to figure it out, but we did figure out a few things. This was like go for broke, throwing really top order, throw the rat in the morning, we flip mats, jigs. That's all power stuff for us, you know, if we get bit. We were just hoping to stumble upon that one milfoil patch, you know, and we had 450s in it, but that didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen for us, unfortunately. You can't have your too high expectations, you know, there's no pre-fishing, there's no nothing, just go out and fish for the day, you know, and. Some guys got them on early in the morning and that paid off. And then by the time we figured the pattern out, it was too late and that's how it goes. 
we just we plugged away at her, caught enough fish, but uh, just couldn't get any size. Uh, primarily fish shallow, a lot of flipping mats and stuff, and uh, fish were there, we just didn't get the big ones. We caught a lot of fish, we just, for whatever reason, we couldn't figure out how to catch any decent ones. We, we came here fishing for big fish anyway. We weren't, yeah, we, we weren't fishing for a limit. We were, even though our fish may not show that we were trying for big fish, we were. Yeah. I mean, we had to figure it out just like everybody else did. Um, I think we did pretty good. We caught fish all day long. It wasn't, uh, there was no shortage of it. Just didn't find the bigger fish that we needed. All right, first of all, thanks for being a part of the Tournament of Champions. I Pretty exclusive club to get into this. So uh, hope you enjoyed your day. We'll start with third place, representing the 150 and under series. It was uh, Jay Barker and Matt Beauclair with 14-2. A second place, again from the 150s. 150s representing pretty good today. Aaron Powell and Johnny Fadui with 16 pounds, 14 ounces. And our 2017 tournament champions, champions, Lenny DeVos and Jeff Delage with 20 pounds, three ounces. Great fishing, guys. Hopefully you all get to come back next year. The Tournament of Champions means a lot, really. You're fishing against the top anglers of the Renegade Series for the whole summer, including Thousand Islands Open, the 150s Unders. It's, uh, you're fishing against the top sticks of the year. So it, it does mean a lot. Even though there's no money on the line in, in this tournament, the bragging rights are, are is huge. I mean, like I said, you're fishing against uh, some of the best sticks in, in Eastern Ontario, uh, Toronto area, you know, so you, you, you do well in this tournament, you're, you're doing well all, all around.